Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ratna Ayu Sri Wardani And I will present about the proposal And the title is Using brainstorming technique to improve speaking ability for SMK in Tumajokerto Next, introduction This is background of the study Language skill that must be possessed by all students in school includes for basic aspects namely skills in listening or listening, speaking, reading, and writing. One of the skills that students must master is speaking skills. This is in line with the opinion of Tarigan 2008, which states that speaking is the ability to pronounce, articulate sounds or words to express, and convey to ideas and feelings. Speaking is one of the productive oral language skills, which means a person's ability to convey ideas, joke or feelings, so that the ideas that are the speaker's mind can be understood by others. From Tari Rustia, 2008, says the, the brainstorming method is a teaching technique carried out by teachers in the classroom by bringing up a problem to the class then students answer or give opinions or comments so that the problem may develop into a new problem. Next, problem statement. 1. How to apply the brainstorming method to speaking skills in students of SMK in Mojokerto? 2. How is the effect of using brainstorming techniques on improving speaking skills of student SMK in Mojokerto? Next, object of the study 1. To describe the application of the brainstorming method for student speaking skills of SMK in Mojokerto. 2. To effectiveness of the brainstorming method speaking skills of student SMK in Mojokerto. Next, significance of the study. For the student, this research can provide experience and input in training and improving speaking skill using the brainstorming method. Students are more active and creative and have enthusiasm in learning English. For the teachers, this study can contribute as an English learning strategy with the brainstorming method so that it can create an atmosphere that can attract student interest and student learning motivation. And for schools, this study contributes as a learning module with the brainstorming method. This research is very useful in improving student learning as a learning module, learning strategies with the brainstorming method in the future can be used as a method in the student learning process so that students are more creative and enthusiastic in learning English. Next, key of terms. By providing the opportunity to argue for each student, of course, will help hone critical thinking power. When the brainstorming method is applied, of course, the teachers plays a role as well as train students confidence to argue in public forum. It seems very simple but unwit unwittingly very useful for students. According to Subana 2011, brainstorming can also be interpreted as a way to get lots of ideas from a group of people in a way in a very short time. This learning method is effective for training students to speak to convey their own ideas or opinions. Next, Literature Review Speaking skills Speaking skills or what is known as rhetoric is the art of speaking that can be posted by someone with aims to convey oral message effectively as a form of communication to others talking can be interpreted as conveying one's intention 
ideas to heart contents to another by using spoken language so that the meaning can be understood by others. According to Hermawan 2014, in general, speaking skills aim to make students able to communicate orally, properly, and naturally with the language they are learning. Good and fair means conveying messages to people who are socially acceptable. Thus, it can be concluded that speaking skills are a person's ability to express articulate sounds to convey ideas, feelings, and desires to others. Next definition of brainstorming. According to Rustia, 2012, brainstorming is a technique or method of teaching carried by teachers in the classroom by raising a problem to the class by the teacher. Then, students answer or express opinions or comment so that the problem may develop into a new problem or can be interpreted as a way to get an idea from a group of people in a short time. According to Rustia 2012, the use of the brainstorming method in the teaching and learning process has the following advantages and disadvantages. Advantages 1. Students actively think to express an opinion 2. Train students to think quickly and logically 3. Increase student participation in receiving lessons 4. Students who are less active get help from friends who are smart or from teacher. Next, purpose of brainstorming method. 1. Encourage the delivery of ideas or learning experiences. They are very helpful for reflection in the group. 2. Get as many opinions, ideas from learning about the problem being discussed. 3. Fostering learning in combining and developing creative thinking to emerging ideas. Next, previous study. 1. From Riri Restriarty 2018, and the title is The Effectiveness of Brainstorming Learning Methods on Reading Skills Descriptive text of French for class 10 students of SMI in Magellan. The equation, the method used is the brainstorming method and the difference, the skill achieved by real literacy is reading skills, while in the study it's speaking skills. Number 2 from Dewey Husky Perwasi 2018. The title is Improving Speaking Ability in Indonesian Subjects Using the Brainstorming Method in Class 5A SD Negeri 1 Sukaraja Wetan The equation is 1. Using speech and brainstorming skills 2. The research design is action research And the difference is the method used by Dwi Husky Perwasi is for elementary school students with Indonesian subject, while well, this research is for vocational students in English subject. And the last from Nisa Bella Nurus Salma, 2020. The title is The Effectiveness of the Brainstorming Method for Listening and Speaking Arabic Skills for Students of 11 Man SM Semarang City The equation The technique used by brainstorming and the difference the skills achieved are speaking and listening while this research is for only speaking Next, research method Research design This research is a classroom action research this research will conducted for two cycles. Each cycle consisting of two meetings. Classroom action research is research that aims to 
improve or improve the process or of learning activities in the classroom. This agrees with Mulyasa 2009. Classroom action research is defined as action research carried out with the aim of improving the quality of the process and learning outcomes of a group of students. This study consists of four stages, name, namely planning, acting, observing, and reflecting. Based on the result of the analysis of research data consisting of data on performance tests, student speaking skills, and observation of teacher activities and student activities, it can be said that there has been an increase in speaking ability. After carrying the action four times, the result of this study were obtained from the result of student performance tests. Next, the improvement of the result of student speaking skills provide the, the brainstorming method could increase the student speaking scores. This is in line with the opinion of AKIP 2014 which states that the brainstorming method is a teaching method carried out by teachers in the classroom by raising up problems to students then students answer, express opinions or comments so that the problem may develop into a new problem. Time and place Time from May until June Place in SMK in Mojokerto. Next, content of the study. The study will be conducted at SMK in Mojokerto. Subject of the study. The subject of the study were students of the vocational high school SMK in Kota Mojokerto. 2021 until 2022 academic year. I choose this school because I'm from what I have learned. There are many students who are still less active in expressing opinions. Students are still hesitant and have difficulty conveying all ideas that come to mind smoothly and master a small vocabulary. Next, search of the data. Informant, English teacher and student of SMK in Mojokerto in the academic year 2021 until 2022. An event Classroom teaching activities. Next, technique of collecting data. Test and non test. Technique of analyzing data. Data collection is obtained through several techniques commonly used are test and non-test techniques. Test techniques in the form of performance tests using speaking skills. Student observation sheets, teacher observation sheets. Meanwhile, the non-test technique consists of observing teacher activities and observing student activities. And the last references. Thank you. Okay, I think enough. Thank you for the attention. And in the last essay, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.